<laughs> we'll let him tell you all about what happens uh, next weekend too. when yeah. there'll be a lot more football action than there was this weekend. Scott picked a good week to get it go. Good job, Kelly Hulk. All right. You know, the Colts are off this weekend, but a pair of NFL thoroughbreds who should be in the race for the Super Bowl did get together today in Dallas as the Cowboys hosted the 49ers in a rematch of last season's NFC Championship game. First quarter, Emmett Smith loses the handle, and Eric Davis scoops it up. He is gone. 47 yards, 7-zip, San Fran. It was 13-10 Dallas. Yeah, Jimmy Johnson's guys came back, and they did lead it in the third quarter, but Troy Aikman was looking for more. Wanted Alvin Harper in the touchdown, but Michael Magruder strips the ball from him. No touchdown. They settle for a field goal and a 16-10 lead. Steve Young led the Niners back. Hit Brent Jones for 12 and a 17-16 San Francisco advantage. But Aikman was the man hitting Harper for a 36-yard score. Actually, it's Michael Irvin for a 36-yard score. Put Dallas up for good. And the Cowboys beat San Francisco again. If this is a playoff preview, things look big for Big D. 26-17 was the final today. Hey, the Giants are for real, folks. They did something today they hadn't done in quite a few years. They beat the Eagles. Phil Simms, 11 out of 22, 148 yards. The 17-yard score to Ed McCaffrey put him up 7-3. And what a day for Lewis Tillman, 169 yards on 20 carries and two touchdowns. Here he rips off a bunch of those yards. That 169, the most by a giant back in seven years. Kenny O'Brien, remember me? Came back to New York and hit former giant Mark Bavaro for a score, but they didn't even come close. 21-10 New York. The Giants are walking tall, leading the NFC East at 5-1. What quarterback controversy is there in Cleveland? I don't know. Let's go to, we'll talk about that in a moment. But first, it's Joe Montana, who did it again today against the Chargers. Doesn't matter what team he's with, he can still do it. Hits Marcus Allen for the touchdown. The 102nd of Allen's career, 7th on the all-time list. But John Freeze stays cool. Hit Anthony Miller for the score that puts San Diego up 14-10. Montana, though, led the Chiefs 80 yards in nine plays in a minute and a half. Allen capped it off with a one-yard touchdown with two minutes left. And would you believe it, the Chiefs win it 17-14. to 14. Now we go to Cincinnati in that quarterback controversy. The Browns, as uh, Bernie Kosar watched Vinny Testaverde have a career day against the Bengals. Not that that is all that tough, but here it is. Vinny to Tommy Vardell, and touchdown Tommy takes it 28 yards for the touch and a 7-0 Cleveland lead. Then Bengal quarterback David Klingler gets crushed and gives up the ball. Jerry Ball comes up with it for the Browns. And that set up this. Vinny to Randy Baldwin for five yards in the score. Testaverde set a career high with three touchdown passes. He went 11 for 24 for 127 yards. Hands off here to Mark Carrier. And the touchdown. And the Browns bombed the Bengals 28-17. Cincinnati at 0-6 is the only winless team in the league. Just a few scores left today with a bunch of teams off this week. Warren Moon comes off the bench to guide New England or guide Houston to a 28-17 win over New England. The Oilers snap a three-game losing streak. The Saints fall from the unbeaten ranks as Pittsburgh beats them 37-14. The Lions break Seattle's three-game win streak. Rodney Pete, two TDs. And look at the Redskins, one and five after Phoenix beat them 36-6. But Garrison Hurst of the Cardinals should be called Garrison Hurt now. Sprained a knee. Don't know how long he's going to be out. Well, the stage is set for a one versus two showdown in college football. That'll be coming up next month. There's a whole lot of shaking going on in both the AP and CNN USA Today college top tens. Notre Dame moved up after bombing BYU while Alabama tied and Florida lost. Notre Dame plays FSU November 13th in South Bend. Ohio State is up to third in AP and fourth in CNN. Nebraska is number three in the coaches list. Miami, Arizona, and Tennessee are six seven and eight in both polls. It's Florida and Auburn rounding out the top 10 in AP. Texas A&M slips in there ahead of the Gators and CNN. Indiana is not in the AP poll, but they are 22nd in the coaches poll. The Hoosiers are at Northwestern Saturday. Well, our neighbors to the north are on top after one game of the World Series. Toronto beat Philly at Skydome last night, and it was two big blows that did it for the Blue Jays. The first came in the sixth inning, tied at four. John Olerud drilled this one from Kurt Schilling over the wall and right. 5-4 Jays. Schilling gave up seven runs in six and a third innings, including this, which turned out to be decisive. Seventh inning, Roberto Alomar poked one down the left field line. It scored a pair, put the Jays up 8-4. They won it by the final of 8-5, and they really put the pressure on the National League champs, the Phillies, who haven't won a World Series in 13 years and going to have to win tonight. It'll be a good way to come back, you know.